Hey YouTube, I just want to do a video about uh, spring hive management. Uh, this is something I kind of learned the hard way last year. Um, I'm in Southern California, so our winters are a little different than uh, northern winters. Well, they're a lot different. Mainly, it never really freezes. Um, so our bees kind of brood up all winter, slowly, but they brood up. And uh, right now I've got a hive torn apart. I wanted to spare you all of that. I'll show you. This is a five box medium hive. Um, I'm into the bottom box here. And what I want to show you is what happens a lot of times with um, bees here in California during the winter. Is they'll abandon the bottom box. They, well, they don't abandon it. They just stop using it and they start moving stuff up. And then you'll have an empty box on the bottom and you'll think they're brooding in it, but they're not. So here's what I'm discovering. Last year I waited too long and they filled it up with nectar and stuff and it was the hive got nectar bound and almost swarmed on me. So it's February 10th today and I'm trying to get ahead so I don't have a swarm and I can make my splits earlier. So let's take a look in here. Now this is a packed hive so you see all the workers coming back. Um, they're all coming back here but here's the first frame I pulled out. It's empty. No eggs, nothing, nothing on this frame. You can see it, both sides. So that was in this position. Next frame, nothing. Totally empty, both sides. Now this is actually a good time to get to them because since we have drawn comb that's empty, and they're pulling in nectar this time of year. Not a whole lot. It's not like full um, flow right now. It's just the beginning of the spring flow. The, it trickles in and then it really hits when all the citrus blooms. Um, so we've got a month yet until that happens. But you can see these frames. They've, they've moved all the resources out of them. The queen isn't laying here. So we basically have an unused box here. And I won't bore you with going through the rest of the frames. They're all pretty much the same. There's a little honey in the center one. That's it. No brood, nothing. So what I want to do then so that they will use this. And I don't know for a fact why they stopped doing this. My assumption is because it is cooler in the winter that they move up to stay warm. But our nights are starting to get into the 50s now. So it's really spring-like weather. And there's no reason to have to keep them out of this box so we may as well figure out how to let them use it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this box to the top of the hive above my honey super so I can do this without rolling a bunch of bees Ugh. working one-handed is tough not my fave not ideal here so I don't recommend this but uh, it's hard for me to make videos with a tripod because I can never tell where it's facing. So here we go. I'm going to put this back and what I'm going to do, like I said, we're going to take this box and that one's going to go on top of the hive. All right, I will pause and show you the reorganized hive when I have it put back together. Okay, so let me show you what I actually ended up doing. Um, I decided against putting it on top. Um, I figured maybe they could use it for a brood chamber. So what I ended up doing instead, you can see here, I moved the box that was on top of the bottom box, which now is this one. That ended up being the bottom box. And then I just went in order. And then I put this one, the one that used to be the bottom box on top of the brood chamber. And I put a queen excluder in. Oh, about to get stung. <laughs> and then my honey super on top. So they're getting agitated. You know, whenever you break down a hive all the way to the bottom, especially in the afternoon, they can get kind of feisty. So um, at least with my bees, I can't do that without suiting up. So um, I didn't have to wear my full suit this time, just my jacket and gloves. But uh, I wouldn't recommend getting all the way down to the bottom box in your hive um, without suiting up. So. Um, just check your bottom boxes, you know, before, before the flow hits and make sure that uh, if they've stopped using them that you rearrange your hive so that you can put them to good use. So my hope is that they'll 
either store honey in it or make a brood chamber out of it. Either way, I don't care. But um, the queen had been laying drones on the bottom of the honey frame, so I figured I'd scrape that off and put the honey excluder under there. Honey excluder. <laughs> queen excluder under the honey super. So uh, hopefully I don't get any more uh, larva in my honey box. But that, that honey box is going to be ready to pull in about a week. And we're going to have to extract. So it's different different here in California. Um, you know, the winter honey thing is unique to uh, Australia, California, and arid regions like this. So um, we'll have winter honey here in uh, maybe a week. So hope that was helpful. If you like the videos, please do like and subscribe. God bless.